In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the wall of shame I made. Here's a list of the First Amendment frauditors known to do false copyright strikes. These YouTubers pretend to defend free speech while trying to silence anyone who criticizes them. So first we have NewsNow Patrick, aka PayPal Patty, the king of false copyright strikes. He has over 50 infractions. Second, we have Auditing the USA, Glenn Serio, the king of foul smells, with over 30 confirmed infractions. Also, we have Amagansett Press, the champion of hypocrisy, with at least five infractions that I know of. And then we have his son, Watching the Watchmen, the world's unluckiest son, with at least two infractions that we can confirm. Next, we have Kern County Transparency, aka Casey Camergirl, the world's fakest tough guy with five infractions that we can confirm at the moment. Next, we have News Now Buffalo. I live here with one infraction. I guess he learned his lesson. Also, we have Citizen Standpoint News, which is very irrelevant with one infraction. Then we have the Navo News, the bootlicker in chief, also one infraction. We also have Flex Your Freedoms, the weirdo in chief with multiple infractions. We also have Tyrant Slayer Studios, the man child in chief with multiple infractions. This guy is notorious for false copyright strikes. We have Jody Cat Media that has been confirmed. We're open to suggestions on a nickname. Same for Wright Crispy. Next, we have Extra Good Citizen where we're also looking for a nickname and he has two confirmed infraction on our fellow YouTuber, KFAR. Next, we have News Now Omaha, Floyd, or better known as Martyr Wannabe in Chief, that has at least one infraction. We also have the Nasty Nathaniel, which is very pointless, that has one infraction on our good friend's unclean hands. Then we have the One Stop 14th Amendment Audits Shop. That's quite a name. Also known as Captain Insane, he has multiple infractions. And then there is also Tom Zebra, the bicycle guru, with 15 confirmed infractions. So if you know of any other frauditors that should be added to the wall of shame, please let me know in the comments so I can update it. And please share the wall of shame because content creators need to be aware of these hypocrites. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Riders roll.